Hello everyone, this is Tarun Jagdish. Now this is one of the videos which is taken to explain the concept of dividend equalization. This was one of the concepts which came in SFM RTP November 2018. I would like to explain it with a very very simple numbers which is given on the board. As per the concept of dividend equalization, let us say there is a company which is already having 300 lakh units outstanding on April 1st. Now this company has earned an income of 2 rupee per unit for the month of April. As on 30th April, this company is issuing new units. So new investors are going to bring in some money. <laughs> In this scenario, when the new investors are bringing in money, when they get dividend, indirectly, they will also be eligible for whatever income is attributable for the month of April, due to which we come to this concept of dividend equalization. As per this concept of dividend equalization, <coughs> as on April 30th, when the new investors are bringing in some extra money, they are supposed to pay not only for the face value which is 10 rupees given over here, but plus they are also supposed to pay 2 rupee which is the income generated to the during the period of April. By doing so, the new investors and the existing investors come in the same platform and in the future when dividends are given, both can be benefited. Similarly, if somebody is leaving the mutual fund, they should also be given the 10 rupee over here, plus they should also be given the 2 rupee over here. By doing so, they are eligible for 12 rupees because they will not be entitled to any more income which is coming after April 30th. I hope this video is clear to all of you friends. Thank you so much.